welcome to our first lesson of Asian food made easy. And today I will be making one of my favorite dishes, Japanese ramen. There are lots of types of this soup, but I personally prefer pork belly ramen. So that's why I'm using today pork belly slices, 500 grams, rice noodles. I prefer them because they are thinner. Sliced water chestnuts, 225 grams. Monch tut, 150 grams. Half of a big carrot, few sticks of celery, four bay leaves, four cloves of garlic, two for the marinade and two for the actual broth. A piece of peeled ginger, a boiled egg. I always prepare egg before I start cooking, just because when I serve my ramen, it's easier to deal with the cool egg rather than with the hot one. Some spring onions, olive oil for frying, oil for marinating pork belly slices, some chili flakes, ham stock cube, but you can use any cube for the flavor, soy sauce, two teaspoons, one for the marinade and one for the actual soup, rosemary for the marinade, and lemon juice, ground black pepper for the marinade as well. I also will be using a frying pan and a spatula for frying my vegetables, a baking tray with two pieces of foil, baking pork slices, a saucepan for the soup, two different chopping boards, one for meat, one for vegetables, two different knives, meat knife and vegetable knife, a grater for carrot and ginger, and I almost forgot the most important tools. <laughs> three spoons, the ladle, tablespoon and teaspoon. Ladle will help me with soup and these two spoons with measurements. I need to wash my hands, I have my apron on, my hair is still not up, so I have to sort this out before I start cooking. And before I do anything, I have to preheat my oven to gas mark 7. If your oven is different, then you need to preheat it to 220 degrees. So now I will start preparing the broth. And for that, I will boil pork belly slices for about 20 minutes. Always wash your hands after you touched raw meat. So for my broth, I will cover pork slices with water and bring it to boil. So now water started boiling and I can add a stock cube, four bay leaves, all for the flavor, and two cloves of garlic. So I'm peeling my garlic, but I'm not chopping it for the broth. And I will take it out a bit later. So I'm letting it to simmer for the remaining 10 minutes, reducing the heat. And now, while it's simmering, I can tidy up my kitchen. So now it's been 20 minutes, my pork slices been boiling in the broth. So I will take them out and place on the chopping board. And I will leave the broth to simmer with all the herbs and spices in it. And now I will marinate pork. I will cover it with oil and sprinkle with some black pepper and some rosemary, then a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of lemon juice. So that's done. Now I will chop some garlic. 
and sprinkle all over. So now I'm placing pork bellies on a baking tray. Looking all nice. And then I will cover it with the other piece of foil. And it's going to the oven for about 40 minutes. So now pork belly slices are in the oven and broth is simmering with herbs and spices. I will prepare the rest of the vegetables and I will start from grating a carrot. As I mentioned before, I'm only using half of it. Then I will start frying my carrot. But before I do that, I will preheat my frying pan with a tablespoon of oil in it. So I will give it a few seconds on a medium heat. And then I'm adding a carrot to the frying pan. Now, while my carrot is frying, I will chop two celery sticks, only small ones. I'm getting rid of these ends because they don't look very nice. I'm adding celery pieces to the frying pan as well. Now I'm reducing it to the low heat just because I want my vegetables to be crispy for the soup, not mushy. And now I will chop monstut, which is apparently high in vitamin C. But firstly I will wash it, I always wash my vegetables. And I cut it into halves. Now I will grate ginger, but with the smaller part of the grater, just to make it great. So that's done. And ginger is going to the frying pan as well. So my vegetables are frying on the very low heat just to keep that crunchiness. If you have a wok pan, that would be better. I'm still waiting for someone to give one to me. I'm struggling with this frying pan. But as I believe, there is no bad equipment, just a bad cook. Okay, so my vegetables are slightly fried, but not mushy. That's why I want it. And the last thing I will add to the frying pan is water chestnuts. They're chopped already, so I don't need to do that. But I need to drain the water. So I mix everything together and let it fry for about one minute. So now it's been one minute and I'm turning it off. My broth is simmering. My pork belly slices are in the oven for the rest of 20 minutes. So now I have time for tidying up. So the pork belly slices have been in the oven for 40 minutes now and I will check on it.
looking really good so now I will put them back for the extra 10 minutes just to get it crunchy the top of the slices without the foil without the cover and while pork belly slices are getting crunchy I will remove bay leaves and garlic cloves from the broth because they've done their job gave that nice flavor and now I will add fried but still crunchy vegetables to my broth And let it simmer for that 10-15 minutes while I'm waiting for the pork to get crispy and crunchy and because my ramen is coming to an end I will add rice noodles they only need two or three minutes in the boiling water and then they will be ready if I manage to open it I did <laughs> I'm adding only one nest because I'm cooking for myself today so one is enough and I will leave it in my broth for about two three minutes and now I will check on my pork belly slices Ooh, looking good smells good so this is ready too so the only thing left now the noodles to boil and then I will be able to serve my ramen which I will do with a boiled egg sprinkled spring onions some chili flakes and sliced pork belly so my pork belly ramen is ready and I'm serving it with chopped spring onions sprinkled all over some chili flakes boiled egg cut into halves and pork belly pieces so now it's my favorite part tasting I even have the special spoon for ramen oh my god tastes amazing okay so I hope you will enjoy making this dish and you have two days to complete this assignment to take photos to answer evaluation questions and to send all of this to me Good luck and enjoy and I will see you next week.